right, let's go. Let's talk about the misses. You know, for me this week, uh, the King and Queen promo didn't hit. I want to see more personality there. I want to see more character. They call themselves the King and the Queen. I want to feel it. I wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling it. I want to, I, when I watch the King and the Queen, I want to feel like I'm watching the King and the Queen. I didn't feel that this week. Uh, and actually, I'm going to even branch off with that. The entire show in general, I want to see more character. I want to see more personality. I want to see more confidence. I want to see these guys come out there and be, I don't want to necessarily say stars, but I want them to be stars in their own light. I want to, I want to feel their presence when they uh, hit that ring. And I felt like this week I wasn't, well, you know what? Uh, I take that back. My man, Brett Michaels, the gun show came out there in that street gear. I like that. We're seeing, um, you know, we're seeing Brett Michaels and his wrestling gear and his street gear. We know that this man means business. And I love the character. I love the personality he brings down to the ring. I want to see that confidence shine throughout everyone uh, in the roster here. So those those are my misses there. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Brett Michaels, this is one of my misses for Brett. I love Brett. He's a great character. I wanted him to be madder when he came through the door. I wanted uh, to push yeah. that guy down. I want him to say, you guys, you know, go through the to the match and do one move, his his big move, and that would be it. And just screaming, bring Alan Steele out, bring Johnny Dotson out kind of thing. I, that's, you know, that's what I wanted. Uh, Mrs., here's what I, I, JB, except for one match, and that was the tag team match since we've had, uh, you know, kind of like this was the uh, the tiebreaker with these guys. I know who's going to win every match when they get in the ring. Now, that was an old formula with uh, with classic Memphis wrestling where you used uh, you used people that they call them jobbers. It's kind of a bad word now, but it really wasn't. That was their job. And every match except for the tag team match, I actually um, – I actually knew who was going to win. We got we got to change that. We got to change it with some upsets and such. Action Jackson needed a live mic, guys. Give it to him. Let him say let him say his catchphrase. Um, you know he talks about Dustin does a fantastic job getting over Chris Lex. He talks to us both. You, me, and you've talked about Chris in the sense that he is Memphis. He is this guy that represents Memphis. You know, JB, you're there. It's 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 not, you know, it's not a powder puff town, right? right? I mean, it's a tough town, and he does. He looks like Memphis, Tennessee. So guess what? I want them to put him in Memphis, Tennessee. I want a video of him walking down the streets and being with the people, kind of like, you know, uh, Jimmy Bay did at one time. He's got his people, you know? Yeah, yeah, that would be really nice. Now, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. 